today we're going to take a look at how to calculate class rank in MMS Generations. So once we log in and open the database, we need to confirm we're viewing the correct school and school year where we want to calculate class rank. In this tech bite, we're going to talk about why we would compute class rank, what we need to do prior to those calculations, the process of computing class rank and the options, and then where we can view the results. So I'm going to choose the grade reporting menu and operations, and we see the option here for compute class rank. That's where that is located. So why would we compute class rank? Well, perhaps we would be selecting the senior graduating class, for example. We may want to also include that information on report cards or transcripts, which is something that some schools like to include. So we have some different options here. We see that we have a drop down available. And these options come from the GPA categories, also in the grade reporting module. And it's important to note that before we can calculate class rank, we need to be sure that our GPA calculations are up to date for the current marking period or school year, depending on the GPA that your school calculates. And we also see a reminder message here in the Compute Class Rank operation, reminding us to calculate GPA prior to class rank. And there's also a tech bite available on how to calculate GPA if you have questions about that. And that is also located in grade reporting. These class rank calculations will be directly based on GPA calculations. So first of all, we're going to choose the particular GPA code that we want to use for the class rank calculation. And in this instance, we'll look at an end of year GPA and we'll talk about a couple reasons or a couple options really that exist here. And the first one, compute for a selected year of graduation, allows you to choose the year of graduation that you want to calculate for, which you would select from the drop down. And it does default to the current year of graduation. And this option is most commonly used then to calculate class rank, for example, for a group of graduating seniors. So that's an example when we might use this first option. Compute for all by year of graduation will calculate taking a look at all year of graduations. So it will calculate the class rank for all available year of graduations. And again, assuming that the GPA calculations are up to date prior to computing class rank. And many schools choose this option just for the purpose of following the ranking of students at different grade levels as they advance through their school career. And then the last option, compute school-wide ranking, will calculate the class rank on a school-wide basis, not separating according to year of graduation. So they would be ranked according to the grade point average that had been completed prior to class rank, uh, regardless of their year of graduation. So I'm going to go back to this first option in this instance, uh, in the example that we may be looking at our graduating seniors. And then we notice that we also have an option for the student range if we want to select on that basis, if we want to sort for particular years of graduation, if we're using the team category to sort groups of students, we have that option as well. And we can select and deselect as needed. But here I have designated only those students with the year of graduation 2015. So I'm not going to need to indicate anything in further in the student range. And then we simply click on process. It will perform that calculation, it will give us a completion message. I'm going to exit out of that so that we can see where we would go to view the results 
I'm going to the student grade editor and we'll look at a couple of students here. So we can see for Christine, for example, if we look at the GPA class rank tab, there is a column for class rank. So based on the GPA that I'm looking at, this happens to be the career GPA. We just computed the end of year GPA. So the class ranking may be different based on the particular GPA description that you choose. You can see that it varies and some of these options that are zeros may have not had that calculation done as of yet. Um, if we look at another student, then we see that the class rank is different for Christine and for Amy. So if I scroll down here, I see the class rank happens to be a 22 for uh, related to the career GPA and then a 64 related to the current school year. So that's where we would go. And that concludes how to compute class rank.